Oh my goodness, long time no see you guys. Let's do some cleaning and some catching up. I've got a lot of favorite new things to share with you and we're gonna get a lot of cleaning done. We're hitting every room in the house. So we're gonna clean Britain's room today. This box better be full when we get out of this room. So I'm gonna set a timer, we're gonna work together and we're gonna get this house clean. If you guys are cleaning along with me, grab a vacuum. If not, grab a snack, all is good here and let's get to it. Thanks AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Rise and shine cleaning warriors. We have so many things on the to-do list today, but first I've got to start with the secret weapon that helps keep me energized throughout the day so that I can take on all of this dirt and all the laundry. I've been noticing the best way to start off a full day of cleaning like this is with a glass of AG1. AG1 is a nutritional drink that is all about keeping things simple. So just one drink a day in the morning and you're giving your body all the nutrition that it craves say goodbye to all the complex routines and say hello to this effortless health i only need to remember one drink in the morning ag1 is packed with 75 quality ingredients it supports your brain your gut and even your immune system so as a mom that's a good thing i need that the magnesium and the b vitamins support sustained energy throughout the day so there's no crash like you would get from coffee i've heard about ag1 from several of my friends but nick was so excited to try some out and he swears by it he says and i quote it makes him feel like a better version of himself. We both thought the flavor was slightly fruity, almost tropical. I find it easiest to just chug it first thing in the morning to set myself up for a successful day. If you want to experience the AG1 difference, head over to drinkingag1.com slash Carissa Cleans It All to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one-year supply of AG Vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. You can check out that link down in the description and a huge shout out to AG1 for sponsoring this day full of cleaning. Now that we're prepped and we're ready to seize this day, we're gonna start here in the kitchen, which isn't too bad unless you look in the sink, then it's full. You might see my phone come and go in this video. That's a little behind the scenes of filming my TikTok slash Instagram reels, but I set a timer up on this day to show how long I was cleaning, how long it takes. This was doing like a power hour during Britain's nap. I find it really motivational to work with a timer. Sometimes it's nice to just tell yourself like, I'm gonna clean for 15 minutes and you set that timer and you stop when it hits zero and like where you're at is where you're at. On this day, I was kind of showing like that it, I, how much I could get done in an hour. So that's what you're seeing here. And wow, I was actually really surprised with how much I could get done in an hour. Um, I don't know why, but my brain just responds really well to seeing that timer go. So if you like that, let me know in the comments and I could start like putting a timer for these videos as well. But you can kind of see that poking out in some of the shots of this video. Like I said, we're tackling most of the rooms today, not actually the bathrooms, but most of the common areas. And then we're gonna take on one very big point of frustration, which has been my closet situation later on. Whew, that's a big one. So let's just enjoy the kitchen for a minute. I usually like to end a round of dishes by spraying the sink down with some Dawn Power Wash and using my trusty scrub daddy. Actually, that's the scrub mommy there. But one of the favorite new things in my life has been our new dishwasher. I have honestly hated the last one ever since we moved in. The width of the little prongs or whatever they're called that hold up all the dishes was so small that you couldn't fit hardly any of our plates in there. It was frustrating, but also the little pod door had broken and it was leaking. We tried to have it fixed. It kept leaking. We finally decided we're going to upgrade. So I've actually been enjoying doing, don't tell anybody that I've been enjoying doing the dishes because it's so much nicer to put things in there and the dishes actually get clean. That's crazy. Moving right along though, my other favorite product, which I've talked about on here, but I still love her. This is my Tinico. This is a wet dry vacuum. So it is vacuuming up everything on the floor, food chunks included, and it's also mopping at the same time. The most important thing I would say with these products is that you make sure you empty it after every time you use it or it can get gross in there, but they are a life saver, game changer, makes cleaning so much quicker. One of the ways I'm like, I'm doing two things at once, vacuuming and mopping. So that's one of the ways I can knock that out really quickly. Otherwise I would barely mop my house. I'm really bad at staying on top of that. 
So the kitchen's picked up now and I'm gonna move into the living room, which is just a light um, pick up and reset. Into the playroom we go, always the most controversial. Why are you picking this up and not your children? Well, I would make the big girls pick this up, but this was a mess made by the one-year-old who was not so great about picking up after herself. The big girls are actually out of town for the last couple days when I was filming this. So Britain's been in here, spending a lot of time being a tornado. And I'm just doing, like, I'm showing you how quick this is to pick it up. Usually um, she likes to dump out all the doll clothes and so it's just a matter of putting things back into the bins where they go because everything's so organized it's a quick pickup and that's the nice thing about organizing your home believe it or not one of my favorite spaces to clean because everything in here actually has a place i just rotated everything the week before this so i'm just picking it up i'm going to leave everything that was in here in here um and then maybe in the next video i'll show rotating it out i think i posted a tiktok about it but Every couple weeks, I like to rotate the toys in here. There's a few main things that stay, but once I notice that things aren't getting played with as much, um, I'll swap them out. We've got a closet upstairs where I keep a majority of the things. Okay, so this is fun. I don't think I've talked about my dice in here. I finally caved in because everybody always asks me how other vacuums compare to a Dyson and I've never tried a, a Dyson before. So I got one around my birthday. This is the V12. Um, it's so lightweight and it has like the laser head detect on it. I wanna compare it to my other one, which was like my daily go-to vacuum for several years and is a much better price point. So I wanna make a comparison between the two. I just haven't really tested them against each other well enough to speak on it yet. That will be coming up. Um, but so far I'm loving the Dyson and I will have that along with everything else linked in the description. This is how I travel now. Just put burden in crib so that I could go around and grab this. This is my favorite, I don't know if you call it cleaning hack. This is how I travel around the house now when I'm cleaning. It just makes it so much easier. This is my cleaning caddy. I will link it on my Amazon. I keep it where I keep all my cleaning supplies and then I just load it up for whatever job I'm about to go do. So we're gonna clean Britain's room today. So I brought a few of the things that I use to clean up Britain's room. This has been a real lifesaver though because I just I used to run back and forth grabbing all the things when I'm filming videos or just cleaning and that's what ended up taking me so much longer was that things were on different levels of the house whatever. I will pack this with like clean microfiber cloths and then throw them in here and at the end of the day I go through and I empty this thing out kind of reset it back to how I need it. Let me know if you want a cleaning caddy tour. I don't think many people are asking for that, but I really do love this. It's so nice. They have um, a bigger size. I think this is a small or medium. I think it's a small size though. Britain's room needs some love and decluttering. It's time to get rid of some of her little bitty baby toys that she does not use anymore. Britt, are you gonna help me? Ah! I like the windows open. Yeah.
Shout out to the best parents. My parents, they took our big girls to Michigan for a couple days, which is why I was able to have this productive time and so much alone time with Britain. You get tiny glimpses of it here, but she is such a goofball and truly entertaining and hilarious to be around. I had a lot of trash built up over in this corner. I don't know what it is about keeping up with the nursery, but I'm not great at it working on it though and i'm actually kind of getting excited for when we get to turn this into a big girl room which won't be anytime soon britain's only 16 ish months so whenever that day comes but the thought popped into my head the other day of like when is she going to be ready for a big girl bed and i have this feeling that she's going to be the one that ends up sharing a room with emmy they have a really good bond and um charlie only sleeps in there half the time anyway so i feel like that's kind of what's gonna happen. I'm so excited to watch them grow up and see, you know, it's just fun. Love my girls. Trying to figure out what to do with the diapers somebody not gonna name names found them and was playing with them so half of them are just wide open and torn but they're not actually dirty they just are messy right now and then i'm repacking the diaper the little station over here where we keep the creams and the wipes and everything this little dresser setup has been so handy and we've kind of used a dresser and a changing table for all of our babies and i really like that combo because when she gets too big for this we just take out the changing table and boom she still has a dresser this dresser area for whatever reason is like so dusty when i moved the changing table there's dog hair and all the randomness under there and i'm like geez how long has it been since i wiped down underneath of here it was quite shocking I just noticed that you can see Nick in the mirror while I'm cleaning here. He works from home down in the basement. So whenever he gets a break or he's running to the bathroom, he'll pop in and change Britain or we'll chat or something. So that's what we're doing. To wipe this down, I'm using some disinfecting wipes. I usually just buy the Amazon off-brand. They're basically the Lysol, but they're a little bit cheaper. So I carry those around. One of them's loaded up in my caddy, usually at all times. And this is a diaper area. So we're gonna disinfect that and then change the trash can and i've got the disinfecting mist is one of my favorites i use that all around the house on toys it's safe to use on high chairs and all that good stuff clothes back here has been sitting by the side of the rocking chair for so long that most of it doesn't fit in Britain anymore. So I am sorting it out for donating and um, that's what the basket that I carry around the room in this video is for. That stuff, all the stuff in the basket is getting donated or going to a friend of mine. I got a couple friends actually that are having baby girls. So I'm excited that we can pass our, um, our girl clothes off. clean the rocking chair. I love this Dyson attachment. I will say this furniture attachment is better and stronger than the um, the white vacuum that you usually see me using. I really like this attachment on this vacuum. 
and I was just explaining to Britton that it was gonna make sound because the other day she pressed the button on the vacuum and it scared the heck out of her. She loves pressing the button that switches the modes, but she actually turned it on. So now I'm like, feel like I need to warn her when the vacuum is coming, but she's fine. She's actually the first kid that was never really scared of the vacuum. All of my other ones, you had to be really careful when you're vacuuming. Um, they don't love loud noises, but Britain seems unfazed by it. And I just noticed Britain found my phone in the background picture of herself. So she's given herself lots of love and kisses and we're just vacuuming up. I was surprised by how much dust and dirt was in this room because it looks clean until you vacuum it, which is scary. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do in here and not very much time because Britain's gonna wake up soon. This is the summer stuff that I was digging through, so that is why it is overflowing. The rest of the stuff, I can't explain. I'm ready to get rid of a lot of things. So I'm gonna go through all this and then I'm gonna go through my dresser. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can and as ruthlessly as I can because I am ready to be living a normal <laughs> closet life. This box better be full when we get out of this room. So this is the only part of this video that was filmed on a separate day because this took me almost another entire day of working on to go through all of my clothes. Like I said, doing the dresser as well. None of these things in here like I touch because I don't ever come in this room because it's so bad. I don't like coming in here. I don't take very much pride in it, but I really needed to clean it up at least for now. This is a project that we'll take on eventually. We really want to get like a the pack system from Ikea in here, get it all organized and nice, but I don't I don't know when that's gonna happen. Nick would love that to happen really soon. And I'm just so bad. My closet, it's like my ADHD, my ADHD brain is just puts it off. And if it's out of sight, it's a little out of mind. So if you're ever watching my other organizing videos and you're like, wow, she has it all together, just remember my closet because it most likely looks like this. pausing point because Britain is awake now but I've been through all of the things down here over here been through all the jeans and cut down all my sweatshirts that's what I'm keeping and here is my goodbye box I feel better already believe it or not this is the box that I'm keeping and this is my goodbye box. Can you see it? Whoa. <laughs> I'm excited because I need to get another box. And this is everything that I've got for the fall and then a few things to hang out for summer. Now that we've had the new laundry room set up, I'm more motivated and more excited about doing my laundry and keeping organized. So the dresser needed to be gone, like completely pulled out and refolded and everything. I want to start brand new and refreshed. And my biggest tip when it comes to decluttering, like ruthlessly decluttering, is that once you have decluttered or you've decided what you're donating, you need to get that out of your house right away. Like go put it in your car and take it wherever you're taking it as soon as you possibly can. So as soon as I finished going through this, I loaded up my car and took my donations over so that 
Um, if they sit there, they're gonna make their way back into your house slowly. Feeling so much lighter and better about things now, that one drawer had a bunch of Easter candy in it. Actually, one of the things that were coming up this summer that we're gonna be working on is our bedroom. So maybe we will get to the closet, I don't know. But we're gonna give our bedroom just a little bit of a facelift, maybe put some more thought into it because everything in here it hasn't really, we had it painted right when we moved in and then we haven't really done much else to it. Just a few upgrades here and there. What we just finished up was the laundry room, which I've shown over on Instagram, but I haven't really shown it here yet. I'll have to do a walkthrough kind of explaining everything. I didn't really film the whole process just because I was trying to get it done quickly and there were a few frustrating things, but I'm so excited with how it turned out and it's so much more functional. We added in all these things to make laundry day easier and cozier. It's amazing what a warm lamp can do. If you really want to see that, head over to TikTok and Instagram and you can see um, what the before and after look like. And I'll link that in the description. But here, I'm going to take my laundry down and do a load for you so you can get a little bit of a peek of it. Like I said, we are bagging all this up right away and then it is going out the door. Britton and I are about to head out and grab some lunch. This was day two of everybody being gone. I'm so happy we got all this done and shout out to you guys for hanging out. Thanks for cleaning along with me. I hope that you got some cleaning motivation from this. Oh my gosh, vacuuming the closet was so satisfying because I haven't seen the floor in so long. So a lot of stuff came up from that. I hope you're having a great summer so far. We've got a lot going on with the kids this year, but I will see you guys soon for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy cleaning. All right, here we are. It's not end game, but it is much better. And guess what? You can see the floor and the rest is all in the dresser.